Hi, my name is Mark Duan. I'm a computer science student at Kunlun University. I've been working on the garbage detection using deep learning for the policy summer internship. So the main goal of my project is to detect and localize garbage objects and then classify its type for proper recycling. So the most important component for a successful object detection model is the dataset. I gather my dataset images from three different sources. The first one is from Trashnet dataset. It consists of 2,000 images. Each image has uh, one or two trash objects against a simple background. Uh, it is easier to recognize the individual objects on their own and uh, easier for the model to learn about their unique features. However, I happen to prune those 2,000 images down to just 900 images, as uh, some of them did not meet my criteria. The second source is from Taco dataset. It consists of multiple trash objects appear together against a busy background in various environmental conditions. It should be more representative of real world scenario. The third source is from my own images. It consists of around 80 photos of uh, garbage taken around my own house. My annotation process revolves around drawing a building box around every object of interest and then assign with appropriate class label. It is performed on RoboFlow. Finally, my dataset consists of 17 classes of the most common types of garbage to encounter in the wild. And I also have a negative class to account for any objects that can be easily misdetected as garbage in case of a false positive. And I also gather 4,463 images in total. 3,000 of them were used for training. Uh, I expanded to 10,000 images using pre-augmentation. And 800 images were used for validation and 300 images were used for final testing. I trained my model using two different libraries of the uh, PyTorch framework. The first one is Detectron 2 and Yellow V5. Detectron 2 library provides faster RCN and pre-trained model, which should offer more accurate inferencing performance at the cost of slower frame rate. On the other hand, Yellow V5 offers the Yellow Siri model, which provides smoother frame rate at the cost of slightly worse performance. Training is done using Topaz resources. At first, the training ran to some issue of file permission error due to the containerization. But with the help of uh, Edric, an intern mentor, I have been able to overcome that issue. My training configuration fully made use of computational resources from Topaz with a large bus size of around 10 to 12 images per epoch and a large image sample size of 1080 pixels. After finished training at 200 epochs, my Yellow V5 model achieved a score of 0.42 using MAP matrix with an intersection of union threshold at 50%, which should align with what Yellow V5 models can deliver. Throughout the internship, I've learned multiple useful programming skills such as Secure shell protocols, working with parallel computers, performing file transfer between remote and local system, as well as other soft skills such as demonstrating and presenting my work in a concise manner. The overall positive experience at POSI has helped me grow to become a more competent and industry-ready computer scientist.